Hey guys, so it's Ashley, just me by myself. I've got Ben here behind the camera. Um, and today I'm gonna talk about what I ate when I was pregnant. If you haven't checked out our video, Pyramid of Lies, be sure to go check that one out. In that video, we lay out everything that I was told that I should be eating in the pregnancy class that we took and from our midwives. So a big thing that I was told from the pregnancy class and the midwives, even though I was vegan, was I needed to make sure I was getting in lots and lots of protein. And what we've learned from medical medium is that that is not necessary to be packing in the protein. And what we know from medical medium, what develops a healthy baby is glucose, mineral salts, and lots and lots of healthy carbs understand we've been doing this for five years and we didn't always eat like this so you might need to take it a little bit slower incorporate more healthy fats more beans more grains things like that let's get into it so for breakfast i would start my morning off with 32 ounces of lemon water then i would wait about 30 minutes and then have 32 ounces of celery juice. In the beginning, uh, during the first trimester, it was really hard to get the celery juice down. So I lowered that to about 16 to 24 ounces and just got it down. And then I eventually went back up to the 32 ounces when I felt okay. After the celery juice, then I would wait another 30 minutes and then I would have melon, which was usually watermelon then went right into the heavy metal detox smoothie, and then did a big fruit bowl. Um, and then if I was still hungry before lunch, I would munch on an apple or banana. And I also in the morning would prepare either a honey lemon water, about 32 ounces of that, or a cranberry water and drink on that throughout the day and make another one if needed. Now some other options you could do if you are just totally nauseous and need something like heavy and hearty, you could do steamed potatoes, you could do steamed squash, you could do um, oatmeal is a really great option. I kept fats out of my morning that way my body could cleanse so if you're going to do oatmeal try to keep like the nuts and the seeds off of it and just stick some fruit maple syrup kind of a thing on there but those are some nice warming options for you if what I ate in a day doesn't sound good and you need something more warm and hearty next is lunch so for lunch, I would either do smoothies or a really big salad. And like I said in the first trimester, I was feeling very nauseous and I had these food aversions and greens, especially salads, just did not sound good during that first trimester. So a lot of times I was just putting a ton of greens into my smoothies um, and then there were days that they kind of sounded okay, but in order to get them down, I needed to have some fat in my salad. And normally we try to keep fats out until dinner time, but when you're just, you're not feeling good and you want to like get some greens in, this was a really great way to go. So I would make like a creamy like cashew dressing or a creamy tahini dressing. I would add in avocado, I'd add in olives, and then it was just yum. I could eat it and get it down and get a bunch of greens in. Um, but the smoothies is a really great way to get it in if you simply like can't even like chew and get the greens down. Another idea would be you could also juice your greens and have a juice with the greens in them and get those mineral salts in. And it's really important to get in those mineral salts because it's one of the key ingredients to protecting your adrenal glands and you really want to stock up on your adrenal reserves for when you give birth because when you give birth you're putting out a like a lifetime of adrenaline. So with the smoothies, I would just throw in a bunch of bananas, greens, and frozen fruit, and then some water or coconut water, and call it good. With the salads, I would chop up a bunch of greens, different lettuces, spinach, and then throw in different veggies, so like tomatoes, bell peppers, um, turnips, radishes, onions, garlic, you name it. I was throwing those in our salads. Um, and we just switch it up every day. So 
So after lunch, I would usually snack on fruit or steamed potatoes until dinner time. A lot of times I would do potatoes with um, some salsa. And then we always did a second juice most of the time, probably five times um, out of the week. And that was, I tried to keep it simple. So it was usually like orange juice or cucumber juice or celery juice. Um, and that was it before dinner. Now let's get into dinner. So for dinners, like I said, this is typically when I would incorporate the healthy fats into the diet. So I would do things like potato bowls with lentils, mac and cheese with um, veggies incorporated into it, potato nachos, veggie pizza, steamed potatoes with salsa and avocado, um, oil-free french fries with either ketchup or cashew sauce with veggies or like an, a steamed artichoke on the side. I would make sandwiches, so I would make just some bread out of steamed potatoes and bake that with um, roasted veggies inside, cashew sauce. I think that was probably one of my favorite things because I was always craving sandwiches um, when I was pregnant. And so I loved making the sandwiches or doing it like a pita bread type thing with roasted veggies. I also loved making uh, veggie sushi where we would top it with like a cashew cream and veggie tacos with like chips and guac. We always did chips and guac every Friday. <laughs> That's still something we kind of still do today. <laughs> kind of, we still do that. <laughs> Unless we're on a cleanse. Um, and then there were days I would try to just do fat free. So uh, dinners for those days were like split pea soup, asparagus soup, um, a lot of times I was making healing broth, the medical medium healing broth. That wasn't our dinner, but it would be something we'd have on the side. Um, and I probably made some soup with that at one point. I think I did like a veggie soup with it to make it like a fat-free soup. A lot of times I was craving, this wasn't a fat-free dinner. Um, I was craving this uh, curry chickpea um, veggie soup with like spices in it and I made that a few times. Um, that was definitely a favorite. Another thing I wanna talk about is cleansing. So some of you might be wondering, well, why are you trying to keep your fats out? Why are you trying not to eat fats? And what's important about that, what we've learned from medical medium is that your body will cleanse until you start incorporating the fats into your day. So mornings, always fat free because it's allowing our liver to detox. And then the longer you can keep it out, the better you can detox. And I'm not incorporating those fats, but I'm also making sure that I'm having lots of bananas and lots of potatoes, which are those good clean carbs. Also squashes will bring the good clean carbs as well. And so during my pregnancy, I did do twice the 369 liver cleanse. I did the advanced once, and then I did the original virgin version once as well and that's a really great way to get your liver into a good shape while you're pregnant and if your liver is overburdened during your pregnancy a lot of your toxins might fall onto your baby because the liver's overburdened it's and you're connected to your baby it then will use your baby's liver as a second filter and you don't want that to happen so you want to make sure that your liver is in good shape so a lot of the foods that they're telling pregnant women to eat and incorporate in their day-to-day -day are super high in protein, which then equals a lot of fat, which then is gonna overburden your liver. And you wanna protect your baby. So it's important to have the tools and information to know what is gonna benefit your body, your liver, and then benefit your baby. And let's be real. I mean, there were definitely times where I was eating more healthy fats than I normally do. So there were times where I really wanted some potato chips, so I would get some clean, healthy potato chips. Or there was a n the night that Ben had to run out and get some of the vegan mozzarella cheese because <laughs> I wanted quesadillas. Or, you know, I just really wanted pizza, so we made our clean, vegan, healthy pizzas, you know? 
And I know there's a lot of women out there that are sick for most of their pregnancy and you just gotta do what you gotta do to get food in you because you gotta feed you and you gotta feed your baby. So do what you can to make those healthy swaps and that you're avoiding those troublemaker foods that Anthony, the medical medium, lays out. Be sure to check out the Pyramid of Lies video that we did over here and check out our birth store if you haven't seen it over here.